So guys, in this video, I want to talk about starting your very own social media marketing agency and how to do it step by step. I have created so many videos on this topic, how to get your first client, how to pick a niche, how to get started, how to you know leverage freelance websites, how to use Facebook, how to use Google. And yet I still get questions every single day from people that are actually starting to get overwhelmed with the amount of content that I'm putting out and all these different tips, tips and strategies that you can use to get your very first client. Literally yesterday I got a message, uh, I'm not gonna say any names, but from a guy who was actually, you know, on the point of being burnt out from all the information out there and uh, people that say they need to pick a niche and, and obviously, you know, I've said in a few previous videos, that it doesn't really matter when you're starting out, you just need to get that very first client and from there, you'll have a much better idea of which client or which industry fits you, know, you as a person, but also your lifestyle best. For example, a lot of people will see online that chiropractors are a very good niche or very profitable industry and niche you know, to have as a client, then they actually get a chiropractor and they realize that it's not for them or they don't know anything about the industry. And then they spend all this time trying to become um, you know, like trying to land that chiropractor to realize, and then they realized that, you know, it wasn't actually what they thought it was, you know, or thought it was going to be. So in this video, I want to explain in three steps how you can calmly get your first client, you know, no stress, no burnout, no overwhelmness. Is that even a word? Just, you know, calm, how to do it with the least amount of stress and, you know, just understand that you know, it won't happen overnight, but that's okay. You know, you don't need to look at all these other people on Instagram. You don't need to look at all these other people on Facebook, on YouTube, you know, all these so-called gurus that are crushing it. Just calm down. Don't compare your chapter one to their chapter 12. You know, you're going to do it in your own time and you're going to do it in the following three steps. Okay, so the very first step is this time you are going to pick a niche and you're not going to pick a niche that is most profitable. You're not going to pick a niche that is um, the most popular this month or this week or whatever or whatever all these other gurus are saying. You're going to pick a niche that you feel most comfortable with and that you know through and through. So for example, if you have a passion for fitness, you're going to choose the fitness niche. If, you're, if you've got a family member that is a driving instructor, then you're going to pick the drive instructor niche okay pick something that you know you feel okay with you know doing research that you feel that you're knowledgeable about already and that you only need to put a little bit more evidence to become an absolute expert in that niche okay so now you've got your niche forget everything else forget all the other youtube videos forget all these other people that are telling to do different things you've got the niche now what you need to do is find where these people are gathering or where these people are online for example if um you know let's say let's say you are doing um the fitness so you, you're looking for either gyms or personal trainers or them like crossfit boxes or whatever find facebook groups that they're in are they on linkedin if they are find them on linkedin are they on instagram if they are you know find uh, maybe hashtags or find sub niches, you know, find where they are online, okay? And then immerse yourself in that group. So let's say, you know, you have picked a fitness instructor and the fitness instructor is part of some kind of Facebook group um, with other fitness instructors, you know, trying to um, think of new ways to do boot camps or new ways to uh, think of workouts, okay? Go into that Facebook group and start providing value, okay? Start looking at what they are saying, start looking at what questions they have got, start looking at what struggles they've got and just reply to comments, just reply to, uh, for example, if someone says, um, you know, I have had three new signups this month, but four people have left the gym, you know, then reply, you know, uh, with a way to get more signups or, or to make sure that these clients stay for longer. You know, use subtle hints of your social media marketing expertise to provide value for that client. Okay, which also brings me to step number two is getting in front of the business owner. So you've got step number one, you've picked your niche. Like I said, calm down, forget everything else. Step number two is get in front of them. So, you know, you're in this Facebook group, you, you, you go to the network events or you find them on LinkedIn. Now what you need to do is get in front, with them, in front of them. So you don't need to pitch your service, just build up that relationship. Like I said, guys, calm, cool, calm, collected, you know, long term, 
relax. You don't have to land your very first 10 clients by tomorrow. You know, just calm down and talk to the clients, talk to the business owner, uh, talk to multiple business owners, build up relationships, ask them questions, you know, see if there's anything you can do to help in the short term, provide value up front, maybe send them a loom with some tips and tricks that you've learned along the way. You know, like I said, long term, build up that relationship. And then number three is sell them your service. Okay, there's so many people out there that are afraid to sell their service. Or there's people out there that have got massive Instagram pages, but they're not earning any money from it. And that's because they're too afraid to sell their service. You'll get replies like, oh yeah, I don't want to um, sell them anything because you'll think I'm a sellout. And these people are my fans. They don't actually want to buy stuff. That is all bullshit. If you have a big um, social media presence, or if you, you know, if, if you if you got a big YouTube following, a big Instagram page, whatever, and you're not making money off it, then you're doing something wrong, okay? The whole point of having social media or leveraging social media is to make money from it, okay? You need to monetize it. There's people out there with 500 subscribers that are in in 10K a month, okay? It's not about the quantity, it's about what, what you actually do with that following, okay? So uh, back to the story, because I'm, you know, I'm rambling on a bit here. Uh, don't be afraid to sell your service. So if you have found, uh, so you're in the niche, you've picked a niche, you're in front of a potential business owner and you realize that this client or this person needs help with getting more signs for his local gym or getting more people to sign up for his CrossFit box or getting more leads for his personal in, in training, you know, whatever, then don't be afraid to say, listen, I'm the guy you need. I can help you get those results. This is what I charge for my service. And you'll notice because you've done it in the, like, you know, you've done like a long-term strategy, you've built up that relationship first, that you'll get that client and then everything else, all the stress will disappear because you've got the first client. Now all you need to do is get those results and then start all over again and get client number two. Okay, guys, so I hope this was a cool, calm and collected strategy for you guys. You know, like I said, calm down. You know, there's so many people out there that are claiming to have, in their first 10K, built up the business to seven figures, whatever. But you'll realize that the longer you're in this industry and the more you're, um, you know, the more you uh, interact with people in the industry, that there's only actually a handful of people that are actually earning money off of social media marketing rather than, you know, trying to sell their course or coaching or whatever. Okay, so like this video, I've got something out of it. Like I said, calm down. You can do this, you know, don't get overwhelmed, don't get burnt out. It's a great business model. All you need to do is put a little time and a little effort in every single day. Just do an hour a day and you'll be golden. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.